everyone, it's Unsung NPC back here with another Prestige Class video. Today we are taking a look at the Arcane Trickster, but before we get started, if you like this video or find that it's helpful to you, feel free to like and subscribe and stay tuned for more content. Uh, cool. Arcane Trickster. This is a fun class. A lot, everyone loves this class. I never really messed around with it too much because I don't make a lot of ray casters. If I make a caster, I like crowd control. I like DC casters like buffing and debuffing. I focus on archers for range damage instead. But obviously ray casters go against touch AC, which is huge. And arcane trickster can allow sneak attacks, but they also allow sneak attacking for DC casters, which we'll get into. Anyway, Arcane Trickster, requirements. You have to have four ranks of trickery, which is fair. This is a trickery based class. It's literally called Trickster. Your trickery is gonna, there's gonna be some benefits to having trickery. It makes sense. Four ranks of mobility. Why we need mobility, I don't really know. I think it might just be something that was in the tabletop. It makes more sense in a role play angle. Nothing really uses mobility in this class. Sneak attack, two ranks. So you need to already have sneak attack track going on your class, which does limit what classes you can start for this class. Ability to cast arcane spells at second level, okay? They have to be arcane. No divine magic, no divine, no god or nature magic, arcane only, okay? And then knowledge arcana 4, which also makes sense because knowledge arcana, arcane trickster, like, Arcana and Trickery make perfect sense, right? Right. So. Low Fortitude, but High Will and High Reflex, which is pretty great, especially since you'll be getting a combination of High Will and High Reflex probably from your Caster and your Sneak Attack classes. So you'll be able to continue both of those tracks with this 10 levels of Arcane Trickster, which is awesome. Uh, also remember, yeah, prestige classes are only 10 levels, okay? Low BAB, but that's to be expected. Our damage is coming from sneak attack, and our attacks are coming from people having low decks or being flat-footed, not worrying about having a high BAB here. Four health per level up. It says six HP start. I've said this in every video so far. I don't know if it's like you get this at the first level you take Arcane Trickster or if it's just there because every class has one. So I don't know if you just get four for all 10 or if you get six and then four for the other nine. I'm not sure. Uh, and then here's all your class skills that you get. And remember, class skills stack with your other class skills. You're gonna have a bunch of class skills, but since you're multi-classing into this class anyway, you're probably already gonna have a bunch of class skills from your sneak attack class and your casting class. Wild, okay. So let's talk about what the Arcane Trickster does. First of all, you get your spell casting. So you pick one of their, whatever spell casting class you're doing and continue on your spell casting progression, which is always great. Uh, you also get ranged ledger main. So you can use trickery from a range of 30 feet away as a ranged thing, instead of you know having to be right there, which is great for really avoiding those tricky traps. Uh, the DC of the check does increase by five, I don't think it's a big problem. There's so many things to increase trickery in this game. I've never had a problem, okay? You also get five ranks of sneak attack, being able to continue on your sneak attack track as well. So you're not losing your sneak attack track. You're not losing your spell casting track. And those are your two main things in this class build. So that's really awesome. You just continue both of those things flawlessly. Perfect. You also get impromptu sneak attack. This is a kind of stance or mode that you enter. It's toggleable. You can have it for up to four rounds. So one, two, three, four rounds by ninth level, okay? And what it does is whenever you use a, uh, you know, you're trying to do a sneak attack, the target of impromptu sneak attack loses dex bonus to AC, but only against your attacks, not everyone else's, okay? Any creature that's not subject to critical hits will also take no extra damage, but they still lose the dex bonus to AC. So you still get them to lose the dex bonus, which is really nice, okay? 
Then you get Invisible Thief. So as a free action for a number of rounds equal to your tricks, Ar Arcane Trickster level, okay? Then you get to, uh, you know, go invisible. And your caster level is your total caster level. And the rounds don't have to be at the same time. You can turn it off and on. It's a toggleable ability. You also get Surprise Spell, okay? You can add sneak attack damage to any spell that causes damage to the target, okay? If the targets are flat footed. All right, so anytime a spell does damage, it gets sneak attack that's the same type as the spell's damage type. If they require a saving throw for the spell, and they you can save to negate or have the damage, you still negate and have the sneak attack damage as well. It's not on there no matter what, they will still negate or have that. But this obviously shows that you can do sneak attack fireball. You can do sneak attack chain lightning. You can do uh freaking sneak attack uh i wonder if you could do sneak attack acid fog hold on can we do sneak attack fog acid fog because acid fog does damage it's just a that's interesting i don't know they would have to be caught flat-footed i don't really know if you can flat-footed with a big like fog like that I would love it if someone would test that. If not, we'll probably test it in our run through of the our evil run through and see if it works. But like that would be really cool. <laughs> so that's Arcane Trickster. It's very simple. It's just doing more of what you're already doing and being able to combine your sneaking and your spells seamlessly together. Okay. So what classes do you want for this? Well, sneak attacking is very limited. So you can be a vivisectionist, okay? In which case you could also get second level spells um, as well. I don't know if alchemist counts as an arcane spellcasting class or if it's technically formulas, so they would be different. So that's something you would have to look into, but they definitely have sneak attack. Okay, Arcanist works for Arcane Spellcasting, just, uh, you know, you still have to pick the Arcane Spell list, though, okay? Um, Bard is Arcane Spellcasting, Archaeologist also does not have, never mind, there's no sneak attack Bard, I don't know why I'm talking about. Um, this progression's pretty slow, like the Alchemist, though, I like going... You're really going to want to go full caster to get the benefit of those higher level spells. I wouldn't do a half caster. I would do Arcanist, Wizard, or Witch, or Sorcerer. That's what I would do. Wizard, Sorcerer, Witch, or Arcanist. I would not do anything that's like half-assing it on the spell front. You want your nine levels of spells. You're going to get so much spell progression, you might as well take it all. Okay? And really, you can take any of these because any of the archetype is going to be whatever. The powers are going to be irrelevant because you're just doing it for the spells, okay? You're not going to get very many levels of this class purely on its own. So, like, you're only going to get four. Uh, Wizard and Witch do progress quicker than Sorcerer does, but you know, whatever. You still get nine levels of spells. You just get a slowdown from one to two. It's just a slowdown from one to two. So you're taking three, four levels of the class, depending on what spell casting class it is. And then, then you're going to take sneak attack um, up until you get two sneak attacks. And then you're going to take Arcane Trickster and call it a day, okay? Uh, so sneak attacking rogue alchemist vivisectionist obviously is an option war priest cult leader you'd have to do a lot of progressing in the war priest to get the two from that one so not really what i would recommend slayer could be a good choice they also have to wait a bit to get that though so also not great yeah, I'm looking I'm looking for more sneak attacks, but you can do sanctified slayer, but again like you're waiting till seventh level. <sighs> Rough. 
Um, ah, Shadow Shaman. Shadow Shaman, but then you're mixing spell classing. <laughs> it's just gonna get really confusing. You're better off with Rogue or Vivisectionist, preferably, in my opinion. Rogue or Vivisectionist are the best bets here, okay? And then take Wizard, Witch, Sorcerer, Arcanist. That's gonna be your best combo options there. Um, I kind of like Arcanist because you can get some cool Arcanist uh, exploit powers, at least before you no longer take Arcanist. And then because of the levels you have to sacrifice to get Sneak Attack, so Sneak Attack would take you three levels to get. Okay, so you can, you know, you're going to get two levels here, okay, then you're going to get five here, so that's seven sneak attack, and then you're also going to get, you know, if you do wizard or witch, uh, you'll have three levels here, and you'll get... Five, ten more levels. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So seventh level spells, seventh level spells, seven ranks of sneak attack, and then after that you're gonna have four more class levels left, or three if you take sorcerer. Okay, and you'll have to determine what you want to do about that because rogue. I mean, you're gonna have, you would have to take like two levels to get another sneak attack, leaving you, I guess you could do two levels of wizard to get to eighth level spells. But I think you're better off either going to full sneak attack or full wizard spells or arcane spells. I would go full arcane spells because there's other ways to get sneak attack. You can get um, accomplished sneak attacker to finish it off for you um, which is super easy or you can take uh, you know the sneak attacking mythic feat abilities as well if you do the trickster path you get some extra sneak attack for that as well so there's lots of avenues for that but your caster level you know unless you do lich if you do lich your arcane caster levels will combine so you don't have to worry about getting all your spells because you'll get ninth level spells no matter what from that combination so it's up to you to play around with how you want to do it i would go full caster priority numero uno and then sneak attack on the back burner because you can do a lot you can get a lot of different sneak attacks so that's just how i would do it but yeah this is arcane trickster Lots of different combinations. If anyone's ever done anything that they think is like the most fun combination or like the wackiest combination to get Arcane Trickster, please tell me about it in the comments. I love to hear that kind of stuff. Again, if this was cool, if you liked it, if it was helpful, like, subscribe. I'm also streaming on Twitch Thursdays and Wednesdays uh, most of the time. Most Wednesdays and then Thursdays and Saturdays, I am streaming our evil run of Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous, going demon to swarm and leading up to inevitable excess DLC. It's going to be an awesome time, so catch me out on Twitch. The link will be in the description below. And so is the Discord link. If you want to join the, fam the friendly neighborhood, then you can come hang out with us. Cool. Awesome. I'm Unsung NPC, and I will catch you guys in the next one.